Welcome to the Art Studios with Ms. Perna and Mrs. DeGroote. Hello boys and girls, today we are going to create artwork inspired by Lois Melu Jones and we're going to create our stitched patterns uh, all over our page. But the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to break our page down into sections. So you could do this uh, without a ruler, but if you have a ruler you can take and use the ruler. Two fingers up here, one finger down here. Make sure it doesn't wiggle or move. Straight line all the way down. And then you don't want your sections to be super thin. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna do a couple of lines on one side. So I'm gonna do a straight line across. I'll have this one be a bigger section. And then I'll do another one here. So I would say like three or four lines across. And then, oh, that one didn't show up. We'll do that one more time. There we go. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, but I don't want them to go straight across. I want them to be uh, staggered, so I want them to be in different places. So maybe this one I'm gonna move down here, hold it straight line across. I'll make another bigger box. And two smaller ones. Okay, and that's the only thing that you need your ruler for. So right now I have one, two, three, four boxes on this side, one, two, three, four boxes on this side for a total of eight. So what I have here is I have a couple different uh, patterns that she did in some of her artwork. So you can use those patterns to fill it up. And you wanna do this with either um, a Sharpie or a pencil first, so that this way when you're done coloring it, you can go over it with a nice thick marker. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna des design some of my boxes. So each box gets one of those designs. So I'll do the face here. And you can add a couple more details to it if you'd like. They don't have to be exactly the same. So I'm just gonna do some straight lines behind it. Okay, and then I'm just gonna fill up the rest of my page with different designs in each section. So each section gets its own design. Okay, so once you're done doing all of your designs, what you are going to do is you're gonna take a crayon and you're gonna use it as a rubbing and you're gonna just do a different color for each section. So if I wanna do purple in the bottom one, I'm gonna hold it on the side and I'm just gonna push so I get a little bit of color in each of those sections. So I'm gonna do a different color in every section. You can repeat the same colors, you just don't want them to be touching each other. All right, so I'll do a couple more. So I'm filling in each of those sections, just a light coating to give it some color. Okay, I'm gonna do my other sides. And you wanna try to keep them in the same section without going over to the other one. And then once you're done adding your color, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a nice thick black marker and you're gonna go over all of your lines to make sure that they're nice and thick. Make sure when you do your ruler lines uh, that they are nice and thick as well. If you wanna use your ruler again to, to make the edges of those nice and straight, you can do that. So I'm just gonna take my ruler real quick and go over those lines so they're nice and straight. So you wanna get as close as you can to those lines. I'll do the other 
side. One more. And then when you're done with that, you're going to go over all of your other lines. So when you fill in your other ones, I'm just going over all of those pencil lines. Nice and thick. So you're gonna do that for every single line on your page. Okay, have fun guys.